Fletcher and I help artists to find their own unique creative voice. No matter what style they paint in, no matter what kind of art they want to make, what I think is important that we find out your own creative voice. On my channel I'm sharing all sorts of videos to help you with this idea. Today I'm working in my studio and I wanted to show you one of my favourite tricks with this works with abstract painting but I think it also works well with representational painting. If we want to shake things up here's one of the techniques that I like to use. This painting behind me is um, fairly abstract but it's getting a look of landscape about it. Maybe only to me, maybe it doesn't have that to anyone else, but to me, maybe it's because I've used green, it's getting a look that isn't what I was going for. So, one of my favourite tricks is to flip the painting around and paint on it in a totally different orientation. And as I say, this can work just as well if you're working on uh, still life, a floral arrangement, a, a representational landscape. Flipping it another way around allows you to see it as a series of shapes and lights and darks and colours rather than as the thing you're representing and can therefore really help you to strengthen your painting. You can see what's going wrong with it sometimes if you look at it the other way up. For abstract artists, I think this is a good way to shake yourself up, do something different. So that's what I'm going to do now. Now I flipped it upside down. I can see where I might want to change. If it was oriented this way as a painting, I would want to make some changes. So I'm going to make some changes this way and then I'm going to flip it again. And I'm going to put some music on for you while I work because there isn't really much to say about what I'll be doing.
So this one is too wet to work on anymore, so I'm not gonna flip it over any more times until it's dry. When I'm finding my way with new work, which is what's happening now, I let anything happen and don't get scared. That's the key thing. One of the key things in finding your own way to paint is losing the fear of making a mess. You cannot succeed, you cannot learn, you cannot grow without making a mess. So this painting is not what I want to be making, but I'm finding my way. I wanted to get some paint on there. I wanted to try some things out. Some things worked, some things were not so great. That's okay, that's all part of it. So check out the other videos on my channel because you'll find all kinds of tips for exactly this kind of thing. How to shake things up, how to try new things and how to find your own creative voice. Don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell because that will tell you when I post new videos. I'll see you again soon. Bye.